Right, welcome to a brand new one wherein we're going to be talking about policy permission how do you manage them using Kubia. All right, let's get started. So, I want to I want to list all the policy first which starts with the name Kubia. List all the so my query would be list all the policies starts with the name Kubia. So, what's what's going to happen is Kubia is going to reach out to AWS and list all the policy which is starting with Kubia, which is obviously managed by customer managed policy. All right, so it's asking me whether it's I am policy or something else. Yes, I am policies which which starts with Kubia. All right, looks like it has been able to list all the policy which starts with Kubia. So we've got one, two, three policy. Kubia EKS, Kubia policy and Kubia policy too. Let's create a new policy, all right? Create a new policy and name it as Kubia for EKS and give permission to manage EKS cluster. All right, so what we are saying is create a brand new policy, name it as Kubia policy, Kubia for EKS and give permission to manage EKS cluster. So we want to create a brand new policy which could manage our EKS cluster. It should ask a bunch of information. Sure, I can help you with that. Could you specific specify the permission you want or do you want full access or read? Um, for the sake of uh, the tutorial, I'm going to say full access. All right, looks like the policy has been created. Kubia for EKS. This is the policy ID and uh, the version and the permission and bunch of other information. Now you are set to use this policy into some of the roles which you have created. In the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new role and then attach this policy with a new role. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.